Hello Scrappers! Tonight, I'm scrapping this. This is a duct booster. This, I'm guessing you would install in your heating system, your ductwork. And if you had like a really long line of uh, ductwork, your heat would eventually slow down. So you'd throw one of these in. And I can feel it wants to push the air this way. So that's what I'm guessing it's for, to just kind of help scoot your heat down the ductwork system. I tried plugging this in and uh, the lights went out and I had to go in the basement and reset the circuit breaker. This thing's been in that other garage for years, just getting dripped on and I'm scrapping it. There's got to be a bunch of copper in this motor. Uh, let's get it going here. Um, magnet sticks to just about everything on here. There's no plastic, and there's quite a bit of cord here. Let's see what this sucker weighs before we scrap it. Motors are always a little bit of a challenge to get the copper out of. Little over seven and a quarter pounds. And where do I start? I'm gonna think I'm gonna take the Allen key. I'm gonna turn the scanner down. You don't want to hear how terrible a crime in my city is. I think I'm gonna start with the Allen key. I'm guessing it would be American. S A E. Common size here, I bet. I bet it's one eighth. Yes, it is. Get a, get a pair of pliers on that. Cracker loose. I don't know if the Allen key slipped or. Yeah, that's just slipping. And get it a little deeper. I'm gonna bend my Allen key. We might be cutting that. I don't wanna wreck my Allen key. So, we got some screws. Get out as many of these screws as we can. gonna fit look at that that's what I love about this tool this is just a six and one but you got all your nut drivers on here too it was a six and one screwdriver you got quick access to common size nut drivers now, this thing's all crusty Not much wire in here. Not a common size. Can I just give this a little loosen with the, with the channel locks? Spin it off the rest of the way by hand. Well, that's why the lights went out. <laughs> wire nuts came off she's been in that other garage forever she's getting scrapped anyways what size are these these are common size too they're a little bit bigger than 5 16 But they're 11.30 seconds. Look at that. Really? 
Really wish I was able to get that screw out of there. Maybe I can just cut the shaft with my sawzaw. Um, would have been nice if I can get those Allen key out. Let's try cutting some of these fins out. Make some more room. You know me, I gotta get my copper out. Like using my plain old hand tools. There we go. Now at least I can see what I'm doing in there. I really don't want to bend my my Allen key. good turn she does not want to budge oh there it goes did it budge or did it wreck my allen key I think it just wrecked my allen key yeah. not totally wrecked Well, I just cut that shaft. Let's see what the sawzall's got. Let's see if this has any power in it. That was easy. So now we got some tin for the tin bucket. Good sharp carbide blade. What size are these? Are these that same size? Yes, they are. Tin for the tin bucket and the scale turned off. We'll zero it out. Now the scale will stay on now that there's weight on it. We got some number two insulated. This isn't too thick, this isn't really worth my time stripping. But we are going to get the brass out of the plug ends. So now we got our number two copper. I'll just show a number two copper bucket. And our brass. Brass and number two copper. Now let's see how we get this motor apart. By the looks of it, a screw copper. Nope. wonder if I can bend these little tabs out it's looking like you could throw this in your copper bearing bucket or your electric motor bucket just the way it is 
I almost wonder if this will just peel apart. See the seam? Maybe I can break the seam. Get a more better bite in the vise. Some more tin for the tin bucket. Oh, the windings are all wrapped in uh, that varnishing. We'll see if I can get this out anyways. More tin for the tin bucket. Number two, more number two insulated. Let's get all this number two insulated on the scale. Now before I waste a lot of time, I like to take a little nip into these. Oh yeah, it's copper for sure. I think I'm just going to go about it like this. See if I can just nip into it. I'm going to try chiseling down. Seems like a better idea. It's working. I'm going to put this all the way in the bottom of my vise so it can't tap through anymore. Look at that. Even better. She's coming right out. More tin for the tin bucket. Now we could have just called that copper bearing motor or uh, electric motor. But you know me. Got to make life difficult. Got to get every last little scrap of copper. And this is going pretty well. I do like my hand tools. So I'm not wasting electricity. There we go. The hand tools, you know how long I've had that one hacksaw blade? I've had that forever. another good bite on this and I should be able to grab onto these with channel locks and roll it right out look at that my channel locks the teeth in my channel locks are nearly gone. And I don't think I cut all the way through that either. I did not.
Don't want to lose any copper. Work hard for this stuff. Don't want any of it going to waste. Copper feels like it's burnt, like it's been cooked. Like it's been overheated too many times. Probably from when the wire's all connected inside of it from shorting out. Probably burned out some of the windings. as much of this as I can. So we can tap a flathead underneath this. This way. Or maybe this way. That's more successful. Abracadabra. This is being come this far, might as well go the rest of the way, right? And then get a better bite on it this way. Yes. Was I not cut all the way through on this either? It might be time for new channel locks. You can just hear how crunchy this copper wire is. Definitely been, definitely been abused and cooked. Got just about all of it. This last little bit's pretty much glued right in there. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Some more tin. Got some screws here too. Not too bad, not too bad. So let's see how we did. We're still about seven and a quarter pounds. Probably knocked some of the dirt out. Maybe it was the wire nuts or this little thing. That's what it was, a little bit of plastic garbage. Now let's start tearing us and see what we have for number two insulated 
We got a pound and a half. Pound and a half, number two insulated. And for 10. Five and a half pounds of 10. For the tin bucket. Those larger pieces I'll throw in my scrapping trailer. And I doubt the brass is even going to register. Maybe I'll switch it to ounces. Brass won't even register. But it does add up. Some more screws for the tin bucket. And now for the copper. Now this is number two copper because of that varnishing and because it is burnt a little bit. And plus it's because of how thin, thin these strands are too. Number two copper. I'm a quarter pound of copper. Look at that, what a jackpot. I think that was worth the extra time it took instead of just calling that electric motor an electric motor or instead of throwing the whole thing in the copper bearing bucket. That wasn't too bad. So just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.